Dr. Michael Morelia joins us once again. And Michael, I believe you're focusing on two particular treatment programs, that of HIV and TB. That's right, Joe, and two crucial programs at that. Uh, let's first take a look at uh, HIV and uh, some statistics from uh, government tell us uh, over 35 million patients tested uh, over the last few years. Uh, preventative medicine being a very important part of the uh, fight against HIV and AIDS. And uh, public health facilities playing a, a crucial role uh, in uh, helping South Africans deal with the virus and hopefully preventing the virus from developing in the first place. So 2014, take a look at that stat, just over 20 million tests for HIV at public health facilities. It ramps up the uh, following year to 12 million and at 2016, 13.6 million tests for HIV at state hospitals and clinics. That's a 33% increase from the figure in 2014. So quite uh, impressive work being done in that particular regard. Tuberculosis also a big problem in South Africa. 2015 we saw 283 cases registered. That is a sharp improvement, Joe, compared to roughly eight years ago where we had more than 400,000 registered cases. So important work being done when it comes to tuberculosis. And a note, of course, uh, that TB and HIV are often related. HIV patients will often develop TB. So government trying to work uh, at both problems uh, at the same time and trying to combat these particular diseases. We know there are problems with funding. We've outlined those throughout the day. Uh, but there are some bright spots in amongst the uh, doom and gloom.